Hey everyone, Tommy Drone here. This is a brand new dual lens industrial endoscope from Sansigo. It's a 1080p inspection camera. It's called DS350 with a 4.3 inch HD screen. It's even waterproof. Getting started, it's really simple. Just press the button on the side and it starts right up. It even has a light on the camera that lights up right away. To start recording, just press the middle button. It's that simple. I really like how I can now get into those hard to reach places of my home. There are some areas where it might be a little tricky to reach where you can't really access with your typical camera. But now with my Sensisco endoscope, I can get into those hard to reach places. In fact, if you ever need to check your roof or the in-between areas where there might be bugs or you're thinking maybe there's termites, well now you can look with the endoscope. And I really like that. Here I am looking inside my ceiling to see if I see any little critters in there. Looks clear to me, do you see anything? I think it looks okay. You can also adjust the brightness of your endoscope very simply. Just turn the brightness up or down or even off. It's up to you. You see here how I'm able to bend the wire into shape so I can go and look into wherever I need to go. The length of the endoscope is 16 and a half feet and it stretches out nice and stiff when you stretch it out. However, it is a coil and so it's accustomed to winding itself back up into that coil form. So if you want to keep it straight, maybe use a ruler or a stick and have it attached that way if you need to keep it straight. Now I really like how I can go into the hard reach places. This last summer I was having some problems with some wasps. So here I am checking in for my deck and trying to see if there's any wasps nest there. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, whatever. I like this though because I can now go under my deck and I can see what little critters are there or if anything's going on there underneath my deck. I like that. Again, going to those deep hard reach areas. And the menu is simple. If you want to go, you can have a choice between 1080p or 720. You can format your card. The menu just, you know, just use the buttons to toggle up and down on the menu screen. Now this is a dual endoscope camera. It has a camera in the front with a light and a camera on the side with a light. And just as you can adjust the lighting in the front, you can adjust the lighting on the side as well. You can turn the light off or turn it on and make it brighter. So I really like that. And now I can go inside my car and check for myself. Next time that mechanic tells me I have a hose that's got a tear in it or a rip or a leak, I can look for myself and see. I like that. And of course, if you're going to have an endoscope, you got to check your vents. Let's take a look at my vents here and see how it looks here. What do you think? Um, do you think my vent needs to be cleaned? It's a little dirty, isn't it? It's been 20 years I've been living in this house, you know. What do you think? Should I get my vent clean? Comment below. Let me know. Is it time or should I just let it go? Either way, I've got my endoscope and I can see for myself. And you can tell me too. It does look pretty bad, I think. Maybe I do need to call the cleaners. While you're charging with your mini USB, the light will blink. It also comes with a 32 gigabyte card, which easily fits right into the spring loaded card holder of your endoscope. It also comes with a really nice magnet. Now the magnet just screws right onto the end of your endoscope and let's see how strong this magnet is now this is my card reader do you think you can pick it up let's find out whoa look at that it picked up my card reader that's not light it's probably a pretty amount of weight there so if you have a metal object you need to pick up like a metal ring or something it should work however if it's not a metal ring uh, plastic or something different well you can use the hook 
So again, with the hook, I can use my camera to pick up my objects with the camera. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's really nice. It's a 1080p camera. It's industrial and it's easy to use. Has multiple lights, multiple settings, and I was really impressed at just the usability and ease of using a Cinescope. I'd say to you, if you don't have one, go ahead and get one. It's a good thing to have. It's good to have in your house. You never know when you're gonna need it. And it's on sale right now, as a matter of fact. So check it out, guys. Got dark links for you below. However, that said, this is not meant for humans or animals. So please use your endoscope responsibly. And if you're using on any pipes or an area where there's lots of wetness, make sure you clean your pipes well. You don't want any germs to get onto your endoscope and make you sick so got the rec links for you below guys and gals check it out now this is gonna be really good if you um, maybe lose some jewelry down a pipe somewhere you're concerned you need to get somewhere to find you know uh, it, from time to time uh, my cat will disappear in the house and we have different places where the cat can hide and I'm not able to get into these areas easily so I can just use my endoscope now it even has a light now the units got a nice quality feel to it. It's all plastic, but it's a good feeling plastic. Feels good, looks really good here. TF card has to be inserted into the screen, okay. There you go, here's our, okay, does it come with a card? All right, comes with an SD card too. 32 gigabyte card, nice, that helps. So you can record your video. You have an input here as well. Reset buttons if necessary. Take a look at what else we have here. Here's our instructions. I'm going, go through, I'm going to go through the instructions in detail next. And additional parts as needed. Okay. And our charging unit. That's it. Does this look like something you would use and need? If so, let me know. I'm Tommy Jerome. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.